On my website, I have a page of links of different websites that I like. These different categories are each independent JSON files. And what I have in each JSON file is the name of the font awesome icon I want to use for that category to represent it. At the top there, you see the icon above each category. Then I have the name of the category determined by the file name. And then I have links inside the JSON file, which are the links to the different websites. Here's the data files, the JSON files. And here's what the one with the podcasts looks like. And here's the Apple one. So right at the top there, if they be Apple, that's the font awesome icon. And then all those other things in there were links. Now, I don't want to edit those files manually. You saw what they look like. So I have a shortcut and it goes out and it grabs all those JSON files. And then it creates a menu for me and it says, which ones do you want to edit? Which ones do you want to edit links to? And then it pulls down the files that I choose from the menu. And then I can use data jar. It pulls them into data jar and I can use data jar to actually edit the links. So now I'm going to add a link to Apple. Let's add Stephen Hackett's 512pixels.net. So I grabbed the URL. I'm going to data jar. I'm going to add 512 pixels. There's the URL. I'm going to save that. So now that's another link inside data jar. Now I need to push those back up to the server. And so it takes any, uh, basically any entries in there, and it creates a file from it and it pushes it to the server and basically everything that comes out of data jar as a dictionary is going to be a json file and then it compiles my site for me and there's the output of compiling my hugo static site now if i go back to my site and refresh there it is right at the top and that's because it's in computerized alphabetical order so that's it so i can basically use data jar to update my json files on my website. So here's the shortcut. Basically when I pull it, I go to the server, I get the directory contents, I grab just the file name before .json, I create menus with those, I capitalize them and add them to menu items, I create a menu, and then I choose them, then with the chosen items I, create, I change it back to the file name, I download those specific files, and I put them in data jar under their own name in a jar called Scott Wilsey. For pushing, I look to see what's in that thing in data jar called Scott Wilsey, and then if there are keys in there, which are going to be basically the file names, I get them. I set the file name to that, and I upload it to the server. And then I delete what's in data jar, and then I start working on my Git repository, because I have all this stuff in Git repositories. And basically, I'm just refreshing my branches there. And then I'm getting the JSON files, I'm writing them to the hotfix branch. I commit the hotfix branch. And then basically for each existing branch in the repository that's not origin, in other words, my local branches only, I merge the hotfix branch onto that, and then I push those to remote. And then I delete my hotfix branch. Then I run a script over SSH, which is basically the Hugo command, which goes to the Hugo files directory and runs the Hugo command and compiles my website. And that's when the links, whatever changes I've made to the links, show up on my website.